Hi beauties! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Effie Grail and today I want to talk about another UK indie makeup company. They are called Unique Beauty and they recently came out with this really cute spring cleaning collection and I was immediately drawn to it, especially to this palette here. This color story, I was like, what? This is so gorgeous. And they always make these kind of six pan palettes. They have multiple collections. They have like one that's inspired by Japan that I'm really eyeing as well, not gonna lie. <laughs> and then they came out with this and I was like, okay, let's try out this brand. So I bought them. They individually each £15.50 and then you can buy this whole collection for about £47 or something like that. I don't remember right now, but it's around that. Shipping wise, they arrived quite fast. I think it was about two weeks and they were here. I'm not mad at that. They are all handmade, so obviously it takes time. And I think the demand was huge. They're sold out. They should be coming back in one or two weeks uh, from this date uh, on. And uh, then you can pick them up if you liked what you see in my demo. And yeah, so if you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing to my channel because that would really, really help me out to grow and to keep going. I have prepared hand swatches and also eye swatches so you can see how they perform in the eye. So let's get right into it. All right, so this is all three palettes. I'm going to start with Pamper Me, which is honestly, I think, the one that spoke to me immediately. I just think that this color story is so 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 pretty comes with a protective sheet it's got this little cleaning here and then on the back you just have the ingredients okay it's got a little magnet open and close it's such a cute palette actually it's not massive but i i really love the size i don't know just so good i'm just gonna start with pamper me this one over here Oh, yes, that's nice. I'm gonna try and pick up a bit more. I'm not sure. It's kind of spongy feeling a little bit. I'm not sure if you saw it move around um, there in the pan. Now let's watch this. Wow, that is gorgeous. Okay, you guys can see the shifts, right? I can see purple, I can see green, maybe a little bit of gold. I'm not sure, but purple and green, very dominant, really nice. Okay, next manicure, the matte shade here. Hmm, doesn't feel too dry, doesn't feel too creamy, kind of in the middle. I didn't pick up too good. Wait, is this more of a satin? Oops, oh, on the camera. It's more of a satin finish, perhaps. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go in with a bit more. Yeah. Don't think this one is a completely um, matte formula. This uh, pink here, and it's very close to my actual skin color i guess I'll take a bit more just for the sake of it okay that's manicure next let's go for a spa i could so use a spa day it's way more grainy than pamper me feels quite chunky All right, that's gorgeous though. That is so wearable. That is very, very wearable. Can you just like, let's just look at manicure and spa together. Yes, they're just literally made for each other. That is so good. Okay, next let's go for Zen. Zen. Yes, that picks up great. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, Zen. Okay. That 
that is nice. Aww. I was wondering if you can still see the sparkles a bit. I think it kind of loses the sparkles a little bit. Um, no, I mean here at the beginning you can kind of see them, right? You can see a bit sparkles, right? But it's not very, it's not that dominant, I would say, throughout the shadow. Okay, next hot stone. Hmm, feels more dry than manicure. I really guess manicure is a satin then. If um, hot stone feels like this, feels it feels quite powdery. Kind of silky though in the pan as well, not bad at all. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into that one more time. Let's get a bit of a nicer swatch here. Okay. No, but that's a that's a nice formula. I'm not mad at that. Could be a bit more pigmented, but I, I personally can definitely work with that, I don't mind. Right. And we also have to see first how it performs on the eye. That's fine, I think. Okay, and last, gua, gua sha. I have no idea what that is, so I might have... Ooh, oh, 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 okay, this is very soft. Very soft. Very soft. Softer, I would even say, than Pamper Me. But they kind of have a similar feel to it. Definitely both kind of wet. Gua Sha is going to go here. Yeah, that's a topper, isn't it? I thought so. Cool. Wow, that's so reflective. That is great. That's a cool shade. That's also duochrome. You guys can immediately see it, right? You can see, I can see the blue, the purple. That is gorgeous, especially on my finger. I think you can really see the, the blue. So that is, that is Pamper Me. A little bit of moving around. Oh. Guys, look at Gua Sha from that angle. That's so cool. Pamper me. I'm excited to see how manicure performs on the eye. Cool. Pretty. All right, next we have Bubble Time. Ah, it's that green one. When I saw that one, I was like, wow, I love the green tones in that one. Look at the little bubbles here. How cute. I love the detail, like stuff like that. Always, uh, I, I always notice it. I notice it. Okay, I'm going to start with Exfoliate. Oh yeah, that's the topper, topper formula again, I think. Yep, 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 yep. It's gonna be gorgeous. Yeah. They know how to do toppers 100%. That is so good. <laughs> yeah. I love these toppers from, from them. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that shift. Pink, blue, great. Next, bath salt. This is really interesting. Well, how would you describe it? Like mint green? I'm not sure. I like it though. I'm not sure if this is going to be a satin formula. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that crumpled a bit. No, I think it's just a mud. Yeah. That happens sometimes when you swatch. Obviously it doesn't happen when when you apply it on the eye. Because you don't use that much force and besides you use it with a brush, so this crumpling only happens when I swatch. Never happened to me um 
when I apply shadows on the on the lid. It's a gorgeous color though. Look how, how much is on my on my finger. Okay. Next bubble bath. Feels like a, just like a mud. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Feels very mud to me. Hmm. Oh, that's was quite good. I'm not mad at that at all. That's watched easily. That one's I might say the best mat so far. Maybe not sure. Yeah, that is really good. It's a good shade. Okay now chill. Chill. Chill chill. Wow. What a gorgeous. Oh yes. That is this oh Guys, this is going to be great. I can already tell on my finger. <laughs> that one's going to be amazing. Yes. Let's go. Oh my. I want that on my lid right now. Right now. Oh my god. I don't have a shadow like that in my collection. I'm absolutely in love with that one. Might be my favorite so far. Might be my favorite. Swatched so good. Amazing quality. Like, so gorgeous. Green gold. Yeah. I am in love. 100%. All right. Next, we have Lu Lofa. Lofa. I'm not sure. Lofa. Lofa. Sorry. Hmm. More crumply dry than chill, but also very creamy. Yep, that's gonna be a good one. That is definitely going to be another good one. Okay. Yes. That is such a good gold shade. That green and gold together, I'm kind of getting Christmas vibes. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Even though I'm, I'm really ready for summer. I'm not ready for Christmas again. I want summer. Gorgeous. Really nice. Does it have a shift? I'm not sure. It kind of looks like it has a bit of a red shift. Is that just me? I'm not sure. It looks red. Hmm. Okay, and then last candlelight. Candlelight. Mmm, like a murky, muddy green, moss green. I'm not sure. Could be a satin from the looks of it. Not a hundred percent not a hundred percent sure. Let's see. Be a satin. That's what's quite good, I think. I don't have complaints about that one. That's what's good. That was just one dip. Yeah. A bit more. Just for the bottom here. Cute. I love seeing them on my hand like this because I can just immediately see looks that I want to do with them. I'm going to give you a little bit of a top view as well. Let's go. So under direct light, this is what it looks like. We have the dual chrome action here of the exfoliate you can really nicely see the sparkle of um, of chill mm. 
Ja. Gottes And last, we have the Me, Myself and I palette, which is this really nice orange, mauve, I'm not sure, situation here. We've got this little artwork here in the corner again. Okay, we are going to start with a mat this time. Interesting. It's going to be body screw up. Oh, that is definitely a mat. That is not gonna be a satin. I love that color though. It's just like hmm, terracotta, orange brown. So pretty. Giving me summer vibes. Wow, that is so vibrant. That's a great swatch. That's a that is a good shadow. That is good. That's a good one. Mm hmm Yeah. Gorgeous color. I want to play around with that one right now. Next, we have face mask. Oh, green. Okay. Okay, guys, I think... That okay, that one's gonna be special, I think. Uh oh, is that gonna be the new favorite? Is that gonna be the new favorite? Oh no, what's happening? Stick. Oh god, yes. That is so pretty. That is, I don't have that in my collection. I have so many shadows, I think. I'm not sure. I feel like it's it's something I should have because it's got this like bronze vibe. But then I'm like, do I have this? It's so orange. I'm not sure. <laughs> Something's going on with this shadow where I'm like, hmm, do I own this? <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. I think but I think the green one from Bubble Bath is still the winner. That golden green one. It's pretty though. I like it a lot. Little finger peaks. Okay, next. Massage. Hmm. Is that a satin? What is that? It doesn't feel dry. Maybe. Maybe it's just a normal mat though. I'm not sure. We'll see. We will see. Oh. Hello. That is not... Um, myself. I'm having a bit of problems with that one, guys. Nah. I guess it's building up. I like... I like the color though. I love these kind of rose. Oh no, I mean now it's building up fine to be honest. Just needed a bit of time. I'm not gonna judge it right now by this. I wanna see how it's performing on the eye. I mean, body scrub though was just like boom, was there. Right, but we need to see how it performs with a brush. Color-wise, though, totally my thing. Yes, totally my thing. It's the kind of shades I go for. All right, next we have cleansing. It looks white in the pan. Let's see what secrets it holds. Oh, yes, you hold some nice secrets. Oh, I love these kind of shades. Yes, let's... Show us what you got. Show us what you got. Yes. That's exactly what I thought. That's a shifter. Yep. Nice little, like, inner corner highlight situation. Topper. 
anything really i mean just i love seeing these swatched just right now okay that one was that one and that one was that one boom you have two looks already it's so easy right it's so easy you guys cannot see how pink this actually shifts it looks white for you on the camera how weird it's very pink for me very pink maybe later from the top down view you will be able to see it a bit better Maybe my finger? Yeah, my finger is showing a bit more pink, isn't it? Yeah, there you can see it. It's not white. It's just very pink. All right, and then we have two left. Next is towel. Towel. Perfect transition shade. These ones never swatch good though. Which doesn't mean anything, but yeah, just like, well, maybe if we get this little crumple a little bit. No. Mm. Yeah, well, it's a transition shade, right? And it's close to my skin color, so I don't know. It just never shows up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. Definitely buildable. Okay, and the last shade, head wrap. That looks like a top of shade to me. I might be wrong though. Oh yes, that is very creamy, very creamy. Oh, oh. okay. Let's do this. Hello. Boom. Yes. I mean, honestly, really consistently, very consistent with these um with these topper shimmers right super consistent throughout all of the palettes i think the topper formula from unique beauty is gorgeous definitely a recommend for me like you saw yourself all of these toppers they really have it down they perform so good like really good as a swatch i mean we still have to see how they perform um on the eye right but i can say that already all right let's get some top down views for you guys maybe you can see the, sh the yeah you can already see the pink yes you can look at that orange body scrub yeah damn gorgeous very nice there we go me, myself, and I. Welcome to testing me, myself, and I. I am excited to see how these eyeshadows perform. I'm going to try and use all of the colors. I'm going to start with towel, a really light shade. And I'm just going to have that all over my lid here at the top. It's like a transition shade and just in general, it's like a nice shade, starting to see. It's very, very close to my skin color. I think that one's a bit hard to see uh, in the camera. I can see it on my mirror, but it's a bit hard to pick up, I think, uh, from the camera. Maybe if you look here and you look here, you can see it's a bit darker. Then let's go all over with that gorgeous orange shade body scrub down here oh yes I mean that one just uh, performed so well on the swatches so I'm not surprised to see just one dip and boom that formula was the absolute best I think of all of the matte shades from all three of them and yeah it also translated into the eye look at that also so easy to blend like it's working just like one of my best mattes that I have which would be my favorite mattes are Pat McGrath and Viseart and I think Tami Tanuka some of her are really really good and this one just completely comparable it's so easy to work with yeah 
unique beauty you've done this one very well i am loving the quality of that shadow and besides that it looks so good on the eye as well doesn't it like it's a beautiful orange Okay, I want to deepen up the outer and inner corner with massage now. Oh yeah, zero fallout by the way. On all three shades so far. Mm. Yeah, this one didn't swatch too well, if I remember correctly. But, I mean, it doesn't perform as nice, as, I would say, as body scrub. Body scrub is just a dream. But... It's fine. I don't mind it. It's okay. I can work with this. Inner corner as well. Yeah, I have no fallout. That's really good. I'd say we use face mask as a lid shade and then we top off this head wrap. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use all of the shades. All right, here we go with face mask. We're just gonna use our fingers. Yes, there we go. Okay, I love that. I love, 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 love that. Oh, it already looks so good. It's already so pretty. Okay, well, we're gonna put head wrap on top of it now, though. Head wrap. This, oh, these topper shades are just like so stunning. Oh my god, it's giving it green now. That is so cool. Before it was just like, yeah. And purple too, depending on where I. Depending on where I turn my eye. Oh, it's so cool. It completely transformed the... Wow. Okay. That's so cool. Love that. Love that. Everything performed great. <clears throat> the only shade that I wouldn't give a, a, an A plus is Massage. I think that one could be a bit more pigmented. And then, of course, um, inner corner highlight and brow boy up here, I think, as well. I'm going to use cleansing. Let's check out how that pops. Oof. And that pops gorgeously. Yep. That and the movie shade together. Oh, that's also a really good look. Bit more minimalistic just like a little bit of this a little bit of the mauve shade oh that's so cute i love it by the way this wound here i got that from my glasses can you believe that so this is the finished look for me myself and i i added lashes mascara and eyeliner and a little bit of blush and the lipstick i love how the pink and the orange play off each other i think that's such a cool combo i don't think i would have ever mixed them like this but it makes sense it's fun it's cool i think it's very gives me such strong summer vibes i really really love it welcome to bubble time let's start with bubble bath up here oh that's so nice and pigmented i really like it gorgeous color that performed so nice that was really easy to blend out no problem at all really good color let's deepen that up a little bit with basil wow these two colors are so complementary to each other do you see that they just like seamlessly blend into each other so nicely and for the inner and outer corner, let's use candlelight to deepen it up. That's very nice. Very, very intense. Just one little dip. And it's like, boom, I'm here. 
What a cool shade as well. It's kind of a really dark mint green, isn't it? Like normally you have like a dark olive green or dark uh, forest green, I think. But I'm not sure I have a dark mint green. All right, that looks really good. I love it. Now it's the same brush. I'm just going to pick up chill and we'll start working my way towards the inside of my lid. Oh my god, is that shade pretty on the eye? Really up close, it looks so gorgeous. Oh yeah, you can see that in the camera, don't you? I think, honestly, this one is my favorite shade out of the whole collection. I think this is it. Oh god, that, that shade is just... what? Okay. <laughs> Insane. Absol absolutely gorgeous. I can't. Okay, last let's pick up um, loafer here and put that in the middle of the lid. Loafer is pretty too, but if it's next to chill, it just. I mean, chill is just really stealing the show. I don't know what to say. It's unfair competition, isn't it? That looks cute though. I love that. Right, we have not used exfoliate yet. I'm gonna use exfoliate on my inner corner highlight. Oh, that is such a gorgeous topper. Right, can you see that, guys? Wow, that shine. That's so pretty. It looks so, it looks wet, doesn't it? Bubble bath is really a great palette. So this is the finished look with bubble bath. What do you guys think? I am so impressed by this. This little palette, really, really good. I love it so much. I love the, I love everything actually. <laughs> I, don't know. I love chill the most. So I think that is probably my favorite color in the whole collection. Well, we still have one more palette to go. So my my opinion might change, but so far chill is just absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm gonna start with Hot Stone, this light brown here, and gonna put that all over my lid. It's just this really light brown kind of transition shade, I would say. It doesn't show up too much on my eye, but I feel like it's it's defining my eye. Um, if you know what I mean, like if you look at this eye and then that eye, you can already see that it's been deepening up the eye a little bit. And I think you like that. Next, let's get into manicure. I think this is the only satin shade in the whole collection. I might be wrong though, but, but when I swatched it, this one was the only one that came across as like a satin formula to me. It has a bit of like a sheen to it. It's not like powdery or anything like that. It's kind of a bit more sheen. It's it's quite the subtle shade, I would say. So for like a really easy everyday look, I honestly think you could just pop some kind of champagne uh, metallic on this eyeliner or mascara and you're ready to go. I feel like this is like a really nice, already everyday look. Don't need to add anything anymore. Okay, next I want to deepen up the look a little bit with Zen, this blue glittery matte I think here. A tiny bit of fallout with that one. It's not super strong, um, I would say I've seen stronger blues, but I like it. I feel like it fits the palette very well and you can see how easy it's uh, blending right now. Now I want to take Spa, this pink rose gold here oh wow that's a pretty shade wait can you see this oh it's so good and now for the other half of the lid i'm gonna use gua sha oh that's so pretty this purple blue situation here is really fun i'm really liking i don't know what happened though and then the last shade that we haven't tried yet is Pamper Me, the shade down here, which is also the name of the palette actually. It shifts green and 
think. Uh, you, you can see the green shift here right now, right? Uh, I can see a, a pink shift in certain lighting too, but I'm not sure if my camera is picking that up right now. Yeah, I think these colors look really stunning. I'm not sure you should wear it like this. Honestly, I think this looks quite funny. It's kind of cotton candy. I don't really know what I did. But I tried all of the colors. I think the shimmers all performed really nice. I think that the light brown and the satin shade were very subtle, not too much and very wearable for every day. I think that the blue had a little bit of fallout and was my least favorite shade, I think, of everything in this whole collection. Because I just wanted it to be a bit stronger. But it's quite subtle, it's not too pigmented and then it also had the fallout so it was my favorite. Uh, I really, really like this inner corner highlight here, Pamper Me. That shifts green and pink. I think that's a really cool combination of shifting. I really love that. And yeah, that's the Pamper Me palette. All of the colors used on my eyes. So that's all three palettes done. What did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? I do. I have an absolute favorite and it's really not the one that I thought I would like. I actually thought I would like this one the least. Weirdly enough, I actually thought it's going to be Pamper Me but it is Bubble Time. I think Bubble Time just absolutely blew me away. Chill, this color down here and this one here exfoliate. It's just... and the mattes as well. This, this one here, Candlelight is the deep, deep, deep mint green. I... I don't know. I've never seen anything like it and I love it. I love it. I want to wear it again. I'm having so many looks already planned in my head that I want to do with this palette. It just really inspires me, even though it's kind of monochromatic, right, with this pop of gold green. But I just, I don't know, I just find it so fun and this shadows just performed amazingly. I think overall, all of the shadows performed really, really good. Each palette had some really standard shades. I think in the Pamper Me palette, the really standard shade was Gua Sha, this uh, really nice topper. I mean, I'm wearing it right now, actually. Yeah, it's here. It's just so pretty. And then the Me, Myself and I palette face mask. I'm oh, I'm having plans with this shade. I want to use it. It's I thought it's just another bronze gold, but there's something going on here. This, this is this is like right now it looks different for me than it looks in the camera. For me it looks really orange, but in the camera, I don't know. It's just I find it so pretty. This color is amazing. I want to I want to do more looks with it. Um so my verdict is a really really strong recommendations for all three palettes pick your favorite color story and go for it i think you can't go wrong with this brand i think these palettes are definitely worth it for 15 pounds 50 you can't go wrong that's really a reasonable price for handmade products with really cute little art on top of it and that's it for this review i hope this helped you maybe to pick one up uh, maybe it helped you to decide if you want one too and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.